it. So we're playing Assassin's Creed Rogue Remastered uh, for the first time ever. Uh, this came out on last gen consoles at the same time as Unity came out on current gen. Um, and I'm very excited to finally get a chance to play it now that the remastered is out. Uh, I have to state that this copy was given to us by Ubisoft Canada. They want to uh, be a part of what we're doing here um, and help support us. And so we're very, very grateful that they've given us the opportunity to play this game at launch. And yeah, we'll definitely give it a go and put a review up on the website shortly. Hold on, what is this? I reach the end of the trail. The air is still, and I am a hunter. The hunt has led me to the forgotten edges of this world. Seasons pass, drawing me deeper into the darkness, where I have found the truth. That my redemption is found in ashes. That I must burn away the past to set things right. Cool. What? Once an assassin, now their pursuer. I must destroy those who I once called brother. The air is still, and I am a hunter. Whoa. Cool. That was a little trailer, a little sneak peek. Uh, skip. Alright. Dive into the history of the Brotherhood. Head to the Assassin's Creed Games website. Alright. That was already pretty exciting. I'm very excited about this. Um, so according to people who played uh, Rogue when it came out, and Ubisoft themselves, this is built on the Black Flag engine, which is my absolute favorite Assassin's Creed game. Uh, which makes me even more excited about it. Uh, let's just let's just jump right in. Start a new game. Uh, let's clean that up a bit. Let's do it. Let's get into it. Good old load screen. Ubisoft presents. Stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent. Game played. Hide in bit. plain sight. North Atlantic, seventeen fifty The Assassin Brotherhood. These are the tenets of the creed, the principles I used to live by. I like this guy's Irish accent. I was a young man then. The Seven Years' War was about to begin. I could not have imagined what the future had in store for me, nor the cost I would choose to bear. My name is Shay Patrick. Oh, Connor. young Shay. This is my story. Oh, cool. Well, you won't like for firewood at least. Oh, shit. <laughs> Admit it. I nearly had you. <laughs> nearly counts for nothing, Shay. And besides, no. That was just luck. 
I make my own luck, Liam. Ah, you've been saying that for years, but you're precious little to show for it. Or have you been spending it all getting out of trouble? Well, you know, trouble just follows me around. Speaking of which... Let's head back. Come on. Captain Deliver André and his crew must have run into some trouble. Who knew meeting with smugglers would lead to no good? I still don't understand why you can't tell me what we're doing here. Because Chevalier decided not to tell you. I thought we were friends, Liam. We are. But this is business. It doesn't concern you, Shay. <laughs> Am I going too fast for you? I'm just keeping an eye on you, in case you fall down and uh -huh. hurt yourself. Quick little synchronize before I jump down. What's this? This is a map. This is more like it. Oh, treasure map. Oh my god, I forgot about Black Flag's treasure maps. What, is, what are you doing? Viking Swords times one! Hurry! We best not keep Chevalier waiting. Alright, let's see what's going on. Where the hell were you two? We were out hunting. What happened here? My men were attacked by some English sea dogs. Why, Captain Joseph, couldn't you fight them all off by yourself like you're always saying? It is Capitaine Louis Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Vérandrie. And you are dreaming if you think any training could make you into a proper assassin. Do you even know what that means? It means being responsible for an ancient and proud tradition. It means obeying your mentor without question. How else will we ensure freedom for the human race? Them's pretty words, Chevalier. But I don't feel too free at the moment. Well then, feel educated. Oh shit! Viens, viens. You simpleton! You rot-brained cabbage farmer! I will teach you some manners, boy. Oh. Gentlemen, stop! We got a common enemy, and I reckon he's close. The Royal Navy attack my vessel and force Looks my Looks like my friend flee. just completely we lost his accent. And what is worse, the smugglers we were supposed to meet have been taken prisoner. Shay and I are free, those smugglers. You, treat her wounded. Take these. You'll need them. Swords. Tread with care, Shay. The Royal Navy be ready for us. Remember your training. Yeah, hundred and fifty pounds. Yeah. Ready to teach him a lesson? They don't stand a chance. Where are you, mates? Bad. Now, you built rat. There he goes again. Many thanks. I thought I'd be hanged. Oh, I have to rescue them myself. Okay. 
Thank you. Is that all of them? No, get out of there. Already it feels a little clunky. Maybe I've just been playing uh, too many other games recently, like Tomb Raider and stuff, so the movement feels a little clunky. Now that's booty. Now that's booty. Shit. You can't swim in the water over here. I've got a good line on him. What are you doing? Come on, let's go. Oh shit. Oh shit. I was saving those fellas for you. Very thoughtful. Maybe you were not completely useless, Shake. Speaking of useless, those blockheads won't be needing this vessel anymore. This pile of mail? You want her, Shay? She is yours. Now bring me back to my ship. Wow, okay. Looks like I got a ship. You heard, Chevalier? This vessel is yours, Shay. Go on. Take the wheel. Some of the men you rescued agreed to join us. They should prove a good crew. I'm not so certain about their captain, but next to me, you are the most experienced sailor in the Brotherhood chain. Besides, we could use another vessel, even this pitiful one. She's mine, ain't she? My own ship. Your own pile of garbage, yes. Ah, with a lick of paint and a few new cannons, she'll look as fine as anything on the Seven Seas. Shall we begin, Captain? Indeed, mate. Oh, now. She's a mess! <sighs> to fire cannons, hold left trigger and move R to aim, then press R to shoot. Okay. But she's still afloat. And her name's the Morgan. Morgan? That silly fairy queen who ruined Merlin, the wise? Oh, she's perfect for you, Shay. The Morgan was an old goddess. She's the queen of war and darkness. She harvested the souls of fallen warriors. Perfect indeed. Oh, slow motion cannonballs. Let's put the Morrigan to the test, Captain Shay. Ready for battle, men. Fire! Fire! Yeah! Stop them, boy! Fire! Ready to fire, sir! She's breaking up! They're tearing her to pieces! Do something! Ship! Fire! Breaking up! 
On your mark, Captain! Already off the road. I will return to what is left of the gift. It's a long way home. We have repairs to do. Sing hearty, lads. Chevalier is pleased with us. Oh no. I missed out on the humpback. Oh, I miss the sea shanties. What course would you have me set, Shay? Time to report back to the mentor. Wouldn't you agree? Wise words, Captain. Wise words. did you do it's some kind of oh shit do we virus? get present day stuff in rogue shit hang on i'm getting you out of there yes oh more of this shit <sighs> sorry for the rough exit your piece working check you were just an anonymous animus yes you were using it to access a genetic memory file in helix labeled shay cormac you work for Abstergo Entertainment, remember? Any of this ringing a bell. Your session triggered something bad, and it's affecting the whole building. We need to find your boss. You haven't forgotten your boss, have you? Melanie LeMay, zipper, chipper, overachiever. Here, take your communicator, check it if you get lost. Now let's get out of here. Follow me. Double time. This chaos is absolutely your fault, in case you're wondering. All these Assassin's Creed books. Oh, a cell phone. <gasps> toys. I like toys. Hey, numbskull, don't wander off! Wow, this guy's... Oh, she's over here. <laughs> she's really mean. Just like we practiced in our safety drills. Everything is going to be okay, guys. Stay positive. Okay. What the hell is happening? A file labeled Shay Cormac was booby trapped with some kind of virus. Your job is to prevent things like this. We need to contain these genetic memories, then we can destroy them. No. Isolate them. I want to study these memories. But... With respect, Miss LeMay, this is not a request. You heard the man. Fine. <sighs> I need to borrow your numbskull. That okay with you, Miss LeMay? Hey there, this might seem a bit weird, but you're gonna work for contractors we hired to, you know, upgrade our security. Mr. Otto Berg and Miss Violet DaCosta. Call me Violet. I have to go check on our people and prepare a statement for the press. Do whatever they tell you to do, okay? Go team! Wow. Technically, you're not responsible for this, but you're the one who let the virus out. So I think it's only fair you help me clean it up. Mr. Berg wants us to relive Shay's genetic memories. To do that, we need to access them from Helix. But the Helix is down. We'll have to reboot the main servers in the basement. Man, whoever designed this virus is a genius. Not only does it restrict our access to the cloud, it's adapted to fuck up the other operating systems that regulate building functions. Melanie, the elevators are out of commission. Are we stuck on this floor? Damn, yes. I'll get a repair crew on site ASAP. There's a working area server on this floor. I guess it'll have to do for now. She's making some Thank creepy faces. I want regular updates on your progress with Shay's genetic memories. Why? He's just a nobody as far as I can tell. If Shay Cormac is who I suspect he is, then this temporary setback may provide us with an unexpected reward. Proceed to the server room on this floor. Getting my notebook out.
Okay. I have dogs at home that are better Sorry, guys. Just you making are. some notes. What are we doing? Oh, nice boardroom. Is that orbits? Love orbits. I don't. Come on, Nom. Do you see a flashing wireless signal? Great. Once you restore the server, I'll connect your Animus workstation back to Helix. In theory, if you align the beams to segments of the core, it should solve the problem. But here's where it gets tricky. You have to move the circles in such a way that each segment is powered by a beam. The keyword here is each. One beam and one beam only per core segment, okay? Once everything is lit up properly, the system will reboot. Got it? Give it a shot. Uh, select ring, okay. Good job. This core wasn't too complex. But rebooting the advanced uh, hardware in the rest of the building will require more work. Oh, Jesus. The assassins would have you believe that Al Mualim was a great mentor who became corrupted with greed. And that he schemed with the Templars to acquire an animal of Eden. I see instead a shrewd and cunning leader. A man who used his best assassin, Al Dair ibn Lahad, to eliminate his conspirators in order to keep the apple for himself, so that he could use it to enforce world peace. While it must be stated unequivocally that Al Mualim was not a Templar, it is interesting to me that his vision of peace was more in line with Templar philosophy than assassin. In the past, both sides had the same goal, that of peace. Our only difference was how we chose to achieve it. Had Al Mualim not been killed by Altair and allowed to carry out his plan, perhaps we would not be fighting now. It was only after Altair reformed the Brotherhood with its new ideals of free will that the conflict truly escalated and spread across the planet. For if the so-called wise man of the mountain can see things from our point of view, surely the same can be said for other assassins. Okay. Okay. With the servers back online, you could, in theory, restore your co-workers' workstations if you, you know, feel like being helpful. And you could, in theory, find some more digital goodies if you, you know, feel like being sneaky. Hey, one of your co-workers dropped his communicator by the elevator. If you see any tech lying around like that, grab him. There might be a clue as to who did this. Now that you have unlocked Shea Korvac's memories, we stand on the brink. Yeah, I'm gonna interrupt you for a second. Hi, Robert. You've come highly recommended, and I'm thrilled to have you in our studio. I'm putting you to work on a special project for me. Your subject is Arno Dorian. The story takes place during the French Revolution. I want you to explore every avenue of his life that you can. The goal is to have a new blockbuster to present to the Abstergo Brass next year. As such, this is super classified. Your direct supervisor will be Aiden St. Clair, CC'd, and, and can only discuss the project with Aiden or myself. As you've probably been longing some overtime in your animus, I've added a mandatory weekly meeting with our psychiat psychiatrist, Dr. Bibo, to make sure you're not suffering from any bleeding effects. Welcome to Exter Abstergo Entertainment, and don't let me down. Don't let me down. me i'd snoop to see if there's any juicy stuff on it but i might be a terrible person <laughs> i know you must have questions about your new assignment or about me for now all i will say is that shay's story contains the answers shay will lead you to a greater understanding
core repaired. Nathan Kennedy remains a controversial figure for me. I have great respect for him. After all, he was the Grand Master of the Colonial Rite, charged with finding the Precursor Site. Haytham was cunning and ruthless, but he had a streak of emotional weakness that ultimately triggered his downfall. He lost his father when he was a child, and the British Grand Master Reginald Birch raised him to become a Templar Knight. Haytham eventually learned that his father, Edward, had been an assassin, that he chose to stay a Templar rather than follow in his father's footsteps, indicates to me that he believed he was already on the right path. When Haytham discovered that Birch was the one who murdered his father, he and his sister killed him in revenge. I believe this was the beginning of his downfall. Templars kill for efficiency, not petty emotions. When he discovered that his son Connor was an assassin working against him in the colonies, the same emotional weakness stayed his blade. A pity Connor did not show him the same mercy. Alright. So we're seeing a lot of juicy stuff from past Assassin's Creed games. No toys for me to take. Can I reboot this one? Far Cry 3. Was this game really two Far Cries ago? Must have been, right? Oh, this one's on. What can I do here? I have to repair this core of that, of course. do get tricky. I was wondering if they would ever actually cause a problem. There we go. So they can get pretty complicated. That's fun. The numbskull is in another animus session, and I've required caffeine. All is right with the world. Good. This isn't really your kind of mission, is it, boss? Every mission is important in its mm. own way. Still, I bet you'd rather be out with the rest of the team, hunting Sean Hastings or something. Wouldn't you? Hell yeah. I want a front row seat for that show. Any word from Sorkin? He's scheduled to update me in... 43 minutes. Good. Can I ask you something? Of course. What's it like, using an Animus? I went through the Animai training program. It felt like the drills we used to do in the UT Jäger. You never use a normal Animus like this one? To relive your own genetic history? Only once. Really? Who were you? I was a young man. On the Viking raid on Lindsay Farn. 793, northeastern coast of England. Sorry, history nerd. So, how was it? Oh, a Viking was Assassin's Creed game would be hype. The, the monastery was a center for religious studies. 
and we crashed into the city like a tidal wave. And? And? We pillaged and burned. They thought we were demons. The details of the memory were so vivid. I lost myself in the bloodlust. I defeated a Saxon, a great warrior, but did not want to kill him. I invited him to join our clan. Ah, Norse adoption rituals. The chance to sail the world with the Vikings. Yes. A chance to see the world as it really is. What happened then? He wept. Then he cried out that God had abandoned his people and that nothing remained but chaos. I felt such pity for him. I killed him without a second thought. After we're done here, are we gonna have to kill the numbskull? We will see. Oh, shit. All right. Oh, nerf guns. What do we got here? We got a little Edward, Edward doll. That's the bar. Ah, sorry. I'm so sorry. Nope. What is the guitar? Oh shit. What's this? From I'd like to explore the possibility of a follow up to liberation. We found some footage of Aveline's activities in New England. It seems clear that she was still very active later in life. Oh my god. If they made another Liberation game? Oh my god. Reuse existing assets and take a more family-friendly angle on her story. Additionally, the liberation of Lady Aveline might open up some revenue from women. Which is a demographic I think we've been ignoring for far too long now. Agreed. Very much agreed. Explore those. This is the one I just did. I'm an idiot. This one's empty. So is this one? Yep. That one's mine. Oh, this one's up. Let's see what we got here. Uh, not a tricky one, but it'll do. Hey boss, calling from Germany? Yes, I am in Essen, searching for an artifact called the Ankh of Isis. Can you tell me anything about it? Give me a minute to fire up my machines here. Okay. Not much. There's an obscure file from the data dump scanner that mentions it. It was allegedly 14th century Germany, where an assassin named Lucas Zergberg fought a Templar offshoot called the Brothers of the Cross. <laughs> How original. That's the file that led me to this bland shit pile. Is there anything else? Anything outside of Abstergo official records? Nobody's ever seen the thing. There's all kinds of stories about its history, from Roman Gallia, Egypt during the Middle Ages, and even a cell of modern-day assassins. Oh, and it apparently raises the dead. Is there any evidence to support this? None at all. You know what I think? I think this is bullshit the assassins are spreading around so that people like us waste our valuable time sniffing after it. it smells like a trap. Agreed. Keep an eye out for new information about the Ankh. While it may not lead to an artifact, we may be able to follow the data back to some assassins. You got it, boss. Where are you off to next? Cuba. 
I'm going to excavate the observatory. All right, that's cool. That's a really neat idea. Something that raises the dead. The Phoenix Project, it was called. Cool. Oh, that's mine. This one is empty. No one in this darn place keeps... Nothing to see here. Can't attack that guy. This office is really messy. I've never actually been to Ubisoft in Montreal, but I hope it's not this messy. I hope it's not this messy. Did I do that? Davin oh, okay, this is the <laughs> Davenport. It has been a long time. Uh, that's the one in Assassin's Creed 3, right? Achilles. Oh my Adewale. God, Adewale. How go things in the West Indies? Very poorly, I'm afraid. He was the awesome the friend in Assassin's Creed 3. Oh no, Black Flag. Who's our visitor? That's Adewale. He was a slave who freed himself, and hundreds of his brothers in the West Indies. That man's a living incarnation of the Creed. I see. You join me for some practice? Soon. I've got uh, other business first. I don't know why assassins Tell do yard work and shit. Friend. It was terrible, Achilles. The ground shook, and the ocean waves crashed over Port-au-Prince. How many were lost? Thousands. No family was left untouched. I hate to bring up practical matters at a time like this. But did Mackendall's man complete his task before the earthquake hit? I cannot know. Von Redi has not been found. He was a strong maroon, one of Mackendall's best students. Such a shame. So we cannot know if he found the site. Indeed. But if there was a temple under the waves, I doubt it is still standing. And the artifacts that showed the way? Stolen. The Templars broke in during the chaos. They seized the manuscript and precursor box. I gave chase on the sea, but lost their trail when they reached New York. We must consider what to do next. All right. Let's go into our menus here. Okay, so we got ship stuff. Progress further in the main story to unlock these upgrades. Wolf sails. Hype. Oh, Jackdaw sails. Yes. Wait, how do I equip them? We get all the old Jackdaw stuff from the previous Assassin's game. Cool, you can get Edward Kenway's pistols. Redeem on Ubisoft Club. These are expensive. Exceptionally large type of long sword. Okay, so some of these you get all fleet missions. 
Ubisoft reward. Ubisoft reward. Those are cool. But I can't equip any of it for a little while. I have to progress a little bit further. Wait, I can't synchronize here? What was the other thing I had to do before going to the training facility? Sorry, dude. Okay. Let's just move along. You are late. Oh, what did I miss? Only the first hour of training. We're always training, Kasegawase. And we'll continue to do so. Do not waste your words. Shea abhors improvement as much as cats abhor leashes. Hey. A pity. The boy has so much potential. But so little discipline. All right. All right. What would you have me do? Well played. Learn from Hope, Liam, and Kesagawase. So, what's the challenge today? Shooting straight and true. Here, you can use these. These are yours. Well, I want you to have half a chance of succeeding. Go on. Ooh, guns. Shoot these targets. You can take your time, but not too much. With more work after this. Anyone can hear targets standing still. Let's see how you do on the run. Come on, hurry up. Come on, hurry up! Well done, Shay. Keep it up. All right. You're doing all right, Shay. But don't let the others vex you. They mean well, but they'll never show it. All right, let's find out what's going on here. It's about time you showed up. Far be it for me to keep a lady waiting. I'm no lady here. And don't you forget it. I'm your teacher. Oh, shit. And you're better. Well, some of that is true, at least. What will we be doing? Exploring a myriad ways to end a life. You two! Make yourselves useful and watch Shay. Can you kill without being noticed? Done. I am surprised. Ha, huh, the classic haystack. Hide in it and surprise your target when he gets close.
You certainly know how to handle yourself. Place somewhere else. Here you are. Attack from around a corner, and your target will never know what hit him. Top form, Shay. Hmm. You did better than I expected. Wow. Tough cookie. Have your skills actually grown, Shay? <laughs> Do not get a swelled head over it. I feel like this heavy, heavy tutorial stuff could be skippable. Shay, follow me. It's time you learn to survive in the frontier. I think I've been managing well enough so far. Perhaps. But there is more I can teach you. It is time for the hunt. All your senses together to find prey. Feelings should not be meaningless. We must use what nature gives us. I like this guy. Good. Now to use what you have taken from nature. Crafting pistol holsters. Nice. Killer whale and shark skins. Gray wolf, arctic wolf. Polar bear, narwhal tusks. Oh shit, I need this one. I need that North American frontiersman shit. That Red Dead Redemption shit. With these, you can keep your pistols close. Achilles has one more thing to show you. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Sorry about that. Okay, let's go meet this dude. Mm. I don't have any pistols yet. But I got them holsters though. I can just run forever, it's great. Shay, I hear you've become quite the marksman. Generous gift. Thank you, mentor. My ship awaits, Achilles. The people of Haiti will make good use of your supplies. I trust you will retrieve what has been lost. Lost? The Templars stole two precious artifacts. A manuscript of ancient wisdom 
and a box that allows one to understand its language. I have tracked the Templar as far as his coast, but I fear the rest is up to you, my friend. Farewell, Adiwale. Whoever controls the artifacts can access precursor sites of power. We must recover them, or none are safe. Eighty percent. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. Oh, just a bunch of floating weapons. Zoom out of the homestead map. Where to? Whatever Templar affairs lead us. Liam, it's not like you to set out without a plan. A plan or no plan. We choose our own battlefield. And hey, we're not most at ease when we're at sea. Right, you are. Let's, Let's go. Sail. Hi, did I, did I, did I? Did I, did I, did I? Use the animus travel speed to sail faster and cover long distances more quickly? I don't even know what that means, bro. Alright, we're on the ocean. Oh, there's something good there. It's a really small map. Port Menier. Oh, that must have been the place that I started at. Closer to the artifacts. So Achilles tasked you with this mission? No. He tasked me to task you. We need to find what was stolen from Mac and Dalche. You have to recover the precursor box of manuscript. This is your mission. And what's yours? <laughs> Watch your arse. Achilles doesn't really trust me, does he? Give it time, Shay. Do this for him. For us. And you'll do much more than earn his trust. Liam! Do you know what Achilles writes about? I see him in his office all the time, bent over his papers. He keeps records and accounts, studies what little is known about the pieces of Eden. And of course, he corresponds with assassins on other continents. Of course. Liam, you could be a right horse's arse when it comes to assuming everyone knows the same as you. It cannot help if Achilles wants me to be familiar with our counterparts in Europe and elsewhere. Captains at sea. Oh, what is this? Oh, return to ship. Shoot that beaver. 
One bone, one beaver belt. All the viewpoints up there. Can't climb up. Cool. Wait, where's this viewpoint? Okay, it's up there. Where's this sparkly thing that's making all the noise? <sighs> Templar crosses. Find the marked stone using eagle vision. Oh, okay. Dig it up. Templar Cross. Okay, cool. Oh no. Beavers are just lining up to get slaughtered. Don't worry guys, I'm gonna use all of this shit. Gotta get those beaver pelts to make shit. Upgrade my pouches. No, oh, no. What are you doing? Don't be a dick, Shay. Oh, there's something down here. Is it down here? No, it's up. A level. Oh my god, why can't you climb that? Oh, there it is. Loot it. Uh. Okay, this is where I was just at, isn't it? Synchronize first, assuming that there's no one around here. Okay, how do I get up there? Okay, cool. Synchronize, and that way I won't miss anything while we're up here fooling around. Leap of faith? Yeah, no thanks. Ok, 
some blue bodies in this game too. Get ammunition. Bullets are full. Oh, ten bucks. Sweet. Go on. Oh, can I get both of these guys? Yeah. Sword is gone forever now. No, oh, shush. Not everyone is talking to you, phone. Get it. One bone, one beer hide. Oh my god, please stop. Oh shit. It's kinda sad. One letter. All right, I think I'm done. Go. Son. Connor's his favorite, and only son. Then Achilles is heir. Connor may inherit the house, but you'll be mentor. We'll see. Whatever you say, Prince Regent of the Assassins. You call me that again. I'll throw you in the ocean. As we were fishing off Haysboro Light, shooting and holding and trolling. Wait, do I have to go through this restricted zone to get to where I need to be? I do. Fuck. Alright, let's do it. The folk that trolls these waters closely, Captain. When up jumped a herring, the queen of the sea says, Now, old skipper, you cannot catch me in the windy old weather. Stormy old weather, when the wind blows, we're all pulled together. If we sighted a thrasher, a slash in his tail. Time now, old skipper, to hoist up your sail. In the windy old weather, stormy old weather. Yeah! Guard the captain! Ready to hit the captain! Ship from the Royal Navy, sir! They see the ship! Hold time back! They're too close, sir! Fire! Captain! Warship incoming, Captain! Gunboat! Royal Navy! More than one, sir! Haha! <laughs> They're no match! Let's 
see if we can get out of here. Okay, he's turning around. We're clear, Captain. Ice in the water. It's a Titanic situation. Hey boys. There's the gallants and royals. Reef the mains. Clue off gallants. And we don't give a damn when the gale has stopped. Barter yourselves. Brace. Homeward bound is the grand old sound. Brace. Let go anchor. All right. And my ship moves in impressively unnatural directions. All right, let's see what mission this is. So many askers now, I don't even know Trust what Rogue me, is. We'll sell those lobster by the tongue in France. Hold on one sec, I'll tell you. Ah, the cabbage farmer has returned. About time. We have a lead on that curious manuscript. I'd be surprised if you can read it. No one can read it, imbecile. This is why the Templar are taking so long with it. But one of our allies has caught a glimpse of their work. A pirate? A spy who worked with the pirate. We set sail for Anticosti. That should prove a good test for this floating cesspit you call a ship. How trustworthy are the pirates? I consider them brothers, Shay. When the time comes, they will end aid and help us fight the Templars. If only the Rose Beef would realize the Templars were pulling their strings. Are the Templars truly in control in the colonies? Not quite, but their influence reaches far and wide. And what about the spy we're meeting? You need not worry about Le Chasseur. He is loyal to the Brotherhood. As it happens, he also has friends in both the French and English fleets. And he knows more about what goes on in these parts than you can ever hope to learn. So Liam, what could you tell me about Adewale? You obviously admire the man. Aye. I had the honor of working with him once. I've never known anyone who'd done so much for our cause. But it's much more than that. Adewale was already a legend before joining the Brotherhood. He was a pirate. The scourge of the West Indies. Rubbing elbows with the likes of Blackbeard, Woods Rogers, and Calico Jack Rackham. It's your best tool to see you look at the ship to see how powerful it is and what cargo it is carrying. Hold. Use it, move R to look around, okay. Can't be far now, Captain. There, Captain. An English vessel. And she looks to be in trouble. That's fine indeed. Perhaps we should aid her journey to the bottom of the sea. Now let's not be too hasty. She's full of crown cargo. Take a look through your spyglass and see for yourself. Pretty sight. I say this is a good day to lighten King George's pockets. Be careful. A few shots should be enough to cripple her. Too much damage and she'll go down with all souls. No spoils.